was the fiddle lead. This tune was uh, written by Lester Flat, Bill Monroe. Um, so yeah, it starts out with a little uh, little intro here, which is just a. So you got your first finger on the D string, do your second finger on the D string, and that open A. You could do a uh, drone that open A with your fourth finger if you're so inclined. Yeah, like that. So you got that little intro into the actual tune, and then the actual tune starts with... And uh, it's pretty straightforward here. You got this little neat little bluegrassy thing where you slide your uh, third finger down to where your second finger normally goes. So you have your D sliding down to that C sharp. That's a neat little uh, little lick you can do instead of just going. Gives it a nice sound. And then uh, the next measure, you've got one of these drone things. You want to probably play your open A with this F sharp into the drone. Get that nice, nice, uh, nice effect there. So the whole tune so far, we got. Take a little break there. Yet another drone here from your C sharp up to your fourth finger. What you could also alternately do if it's easier for you is you could slide up to third position with your second finger. Some people find that a lot easier. So you could also do that. So uh, yeah, so far the whole tune is. And right there I did another little slide down thing on that second finger. Slide that down to your first finger. Gives you that nice effect. Then it's a lot like the beginning of the tune. And at the end there, it's a little bit of a tricky thing. Um, something I really like is you have this, uh, this G sharp, a, a high third finger, that slurs into that drone. So you get this tension and a release, which is a really nice effect. And then you also have the option of holding that, that third finger down, or that fourth finger, I mean, with the open A, and then you can either play this B with your first finger on the A string on top of it, or you could decide to just rock over and then back to that drone. I like it with, it kind of creates that tension again, but um, I don't know if that's the most uh, traditionally bluegrass thing to do. I like it though. The best thing to, to probably do in a situation like that is to not do it every time, use it as a little slight variation. And uh, that's pretty much the whole tune. It's a pretty straightforward tune. It kind of repeats maybe with a slight variation. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, the little cabin home on the hill. I'll play that uh, one more time for you, maybe a, a lick faster here so you can hear what you might be aiming for. link in the comments below to get the full lesson with tablature, notation, and audio tracks with adjustable tempos. And get a free 40-minute live video session 
$50 value with purchase of this lesson to go over this song together in detail and make learning a breeze. Simply request by email or instant message on the website after you purchase.